Hey, my name's Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Did you ever just need a break? I saw them. We're going to Disney World! We're going to Disney oh World! My <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So today's been like the Mondayest Monday of all Mondays. Not in a bad way. I mean, it was a good day. A lot of things done today, but it, man, it just felt like a Monday. After you solve one thing, the next thing comes along. And sometimes that happens. That's part of life and it's good. But you know what the best part is? Get to go home, get to unwind, be going for a walk with the wife a little bit, bringing the dog and stuff. You know, hanging out with my son, having still some nice barbecue from this past weekend. We'll be eating on barbecue for a few more days, but that's a good thing. Uh, high quality stuff there, so excited about that. But I said, you know what? I've been meaning to dig into this. This is the short barrel cigar batch. Man, I really, really fell in love with this. I, I got a sample of this. I said, I want to come back and explore this some more see what I can get off of this. And I was just really, really excited about having my own bottle and seeing what we can get on this. Man, I remember falling in love with this sound. This is 120 proofer. So it's got a little bit of oomph to it. You know, that's one of the cool parts of, about this is it's got a, you know, you don't get a whole lot of cigar batches that are at that 120 level. I'd like that. You know, I've got a couple other ones over here. I can't wait to open up from Short Barrel as well. I've got the, the bookkeepers, which is a combination of bookers barrels. Uh, and I'm actually going to see how that compares with some other stuff. Um, and I've got another one over here that's done in uh, the rum casks. So this is the, the bookers one. I can't wait to do that. And then we got this one over here that was finished in rum barrels. It's coming in 134. So this one's clocking pretty hot. So I'm looking forward to a couple of these coming up as well. But I wanted to dig back into this cigar batch because I really, really enjoyed it. And I wanted to give it another shot. See what uh, else I might have for this. Man, in my fine Auburn wear right here. It's got beautiful color on this. This is kind of a deep orange uh, with some brownish hues to it. Uh, this one's done, I want to say, in Omniac, Omniac, Cognac, yep, rum and tawny port. So it's, it's got some rum casks in here too. So I'm expecting some fruit, expecting some sugars, um, some different things going on there. And this does not disappoint on the nose. I get almost like a caramely raisin type of thing going on right off the bat. Wow. I get a little bit of smokiness, but not a whole lot of oak on there. Get a lot of sugar sweetness on there. Like I said, I got the raisin on there as well. And I don't know if my mind's playing tricks with me with the, with the rum thing going in there, but it's almost like a sugar cane type of a sugary sweetness. I don't know if you've ever had the opportunity to actually eat true sugar cane or smell a true sugar cane. I, we get that in this area from time to time. It's kind of a treat where it's basically it's the, the actual cane and you whittle it down some and you've got the, the real grainy fibrous parts and you chew on it and you get the sugars that come out of that. I'm kind of getting that on the nose. Getting some other deeper fruits in there as well. I'd say they're more of a darker fruit, kind of maybe a fig thing going on. Let's see what we got on the palate. Hmm. For 120 proof, this does not drink 120 proof. This is a beautiful blend to me. I get, oh man, right now on the finish, and this is, I'd say it's about a medium, medium, medium plus finish, not medium long, getting a little bit of a dryness from the oak now, but man, I got raisins right off the bat, you're getting that nice uh, cane sugar, type, brown sugar type of thing going on there, it's got some savory components to it as well that I'm really, really digging on this, but it just coats the mouth so well. 
And for 120 proof, or I'm not getting a lot of peppery spice, like from the ethanol you might get. I'm not getting any ethanol on the nose. Not getting a whole lot of hug in the chest either. And this is the first pour of the day. There's like a buttery richness to this as well. But then it follows up with that, like I said, a little bit of a tartness, almost like a raisin thing going on the back. And then you move into your oak stuff. But it's got like a buttery, syrupy, cane sugar type of thing that just blows me away right off on the bat on this. And I know this is very limited. I know they only made, I don't know, a few uh, 500 bottles or so of this. I was very blessed and fortunate to get one of these. But the thing that just kills me on this is it's almost like drinking candy is, is how fine this is. And I can see this pairing with the cigar very, very well. And it's just got something that's a little bit almost like a sweet bready thing going on. I'd say mid to back of the palate, which is really, really nice on there. I'll see if they got any specifics on this thing, at least that I can see. Huh. Bottled by short barrel, blah, blah, blah. Dist the distill is from Kentucky and Indiana. So, of course, you're assuming some MGP on here. I might have to get a breakdown on this and put some pictures in there. But man, whatever this is, they did, I'll tell you what, Clinton, this is Clinton's baby there. He blended this so very well and he took his time in this. And the one thing that we talked about when we were at Short Barrel, when I say we, I've talked about Matt and myself, Matt from Whiskey Wisdom, is that he likes things to, to sit and marry for a while. He doesn't want to just put it together and see immediately what it tastes like. He wants them to sit and marry and then come back a little while later and see, okay, what are we getting out of this? What do we need to add to this? And let him add some things and then marry again until he got a blend that he was very happy with. I think he knocked this one out of the park. I have had some killer cigar batches in the last couple months. But I'm going to have to put this into my cigar batch blind. I need to do a cigar batch blind. I've got to do the old Riley, old, well, old Riley, old Raleigh batch number two. I'm going to have to put this in there. I'm going to have to put a Joseph Magnus in there. Probably that Rye three. If you guys can think of something else I need to put in there, let me know. But man, this is one of those ones. I'm, I'm really upset that I don't have another bottle of this right now. I would tell you that I would go buy another one of these. Um, if I could find one reasonable for trade or on secondary, I would get another one of these. Um, I need to reach out to a friend. I think he did have one. So I might be getting a backup of this one pretty dang quick. There is just something that's so smooth about this that makes it so very drinkable at 120 proof. It's crushable. And like I said, there's this buttery rich quality that I'm really, really getting into this. This is a way to really motivate yourself after a Monday at work is you have something like this where you can explore different tastes. Man, almost got like a, a, this strange kind of nuttiness on the back of there too. Um, <laughs> of all things, it kind of reminds me of a macadamia, kind of a little bit of a salty macadamia on the back there. Yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on this one. I'll be looking for a backup on this one. I'll be, I've already got a pour out. Bourbon Jetta, I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this. I know you just got this one. You'll, this will come out tomorrow. You just got this one today. I can't wait to get your thoughts on that. Um, you know, Matt at Whiskey Wisdom's had it. Um, we've got Baker Drinks has got some now. I make sure Doc uh, gets some from Old Fashioned Ways because I'm one of those people that if I find something I really, really like, I want people to try it because I want them to, to make sure that I, sometimes it, it, it helps reset yourself sometimes. Like, am I crazy on this? You know, I had another bottle the other day, Burns Night. 
and it's a single malt and it's lower proof, but I fell in love with it. And I'm like, okay, am I just losing my mind? And that's very possible. But sometimes, you know, you find these things, it's like, how are these hidden gems just out there and people don't know about them? I know what the reason is on this. Limited amount of bottle, bottles. It's going to be highly sought after next year. I'm sure it's highly sought after right now because I can't find it anywhere in any of the stores. And El Jefe just dropped too, so looking forward to some great things there. Man, I hope you guys had a great Monday today. I had a fantastic weekend. Time slowed down for me a lot of times. Had a great barbecue. Had some great time with the NFL draft. But most importantly, my wife was able to spend time with her sisters and her mom. And her mom's been going through some health issues. And I'm so thankful that they had this opportunity so they can go see, you know, my mother-in-law's grandkids and, 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 and her great grandkids. So my nieces have had some other, some kids and their great grandkids got to see her grandson and she got to visit with family, got to see her brother and sister-in-law. So I'm so very thankful for that. You know, I, I, I hate all that's going on with her, but I'm so appreciative that she was able to do things and my, my wife and her sisters were able to be there for her to do it. So that's always a blessing right there. You know, sometimes you forget about the many blessings that we do have daily. Man, if you're working today, when you see this video, I hope your work day goes by fast. I hope you're successful and great, bring great energy to everything that you do. So when you get that off time, I hope it just dials it down a little bit. I hope that you have a great time once you finally get off, that you're enjoying your friends, your family, taking time for yourself so you can help other people. You got to remember to take care of yourself. Always take care of yourself first because you can't help other people until you help yourself. But do the things that you need to do. Have a nice pour. Go for a nice walk. Read a good book. Watch a good show. Meditate. Whatever it is that you need to do to balance and center yourself so you can then help other people. But take care of yourself first. I took care of myself today with this nice pour. And I'm balanced and ready so I can have a great evening with my family. So I'm looking forward to that. But most importantly all, Cheers and God bless. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you.